Hi, I'm Carla Pierce with The Creative Edge. Today we're in Trail, BC, interviewing Vancouver artist Maurice Paradise. Maurice makes wonderful impasto paintings and creates with both hands at the same time. Thank you so much for having us here at your home in Trail. Maurice, can you tell us a little bit about your creative process? Oh, well, it takes, uh, well, it takes a long time. Like some of my paintings take about spend you know, three to five years to dry because of the amount of paint that uh, I put on them. So, you know, you have to be careful with them. And then it continue. Like I can keep going, you know, like say if I want to change something. I, that's why I love working with oil. And of course, painting with both hands, it's, it's just a pleasure, it's fun. It's like my imagination running wild. A lot of your paintings are extremely textural. They have a lot of colors mixed together. How, how do you get that effect? Well, mixing, I think one of the most important thing is, is through watercolor, it taught me the explosion of working with color and changing, you know, like the tones and making, you know, different colors and stuff like that. And it really taught me the explosiveness of, I think that's what's launched me into the oils. Like I've really learned how to, I think color is what I love to do the most. I noticed that you have some gorgeous sunflowers, some abstract paintings, mm -hmm. and some very playful paintings. What images inspire you the most? Well, you know, I think it all started from sunflowers. To me, I really love painting sunflowers, and, and uh, it's just like the explosion of color, like I say, when I do my sunflowers are a little bit different. You know, I don't try to make them look like sunflowers. It's just the way I see. I think uh, something to do with from the accident is I look at things a little different than other people and, and I try to interpret, you know, like my imagination like into the flowers or into anything that I do. Maurice, how did you get your start in painting? Oh, okay, my start come from an accident. Like uh, I used to be a blaster and, uh, and uh, so I guess I took, well, what happened, the machine exploded and, and uh, almost killed me through the process of that and losing, you know, like losing my physical form, but I used to be such a physical presence and loving, you know, like what I did. And all of a sudden I didn't have, didn't feel like living, you know, like you, I loved to work and uh, I couldn't work and so I tried to take my life. And I ended up uh, in a hospital again and it was, uh, you know, like it was really wild. I went into a coma. I had like a huge clot in my neck and you know, I was laying in the hospital. They were going to pull the plug. My family was all there. The priest gave me my final rites. And, you know, I looked up and I said, well, in my, you know, I'm in a coma and I'm going, God, you know, like I won't do this again. Like, uh, what's happening here? Then boom, a golden light hit me and I snapped all the leather restraints and pulled all the hardware out, got dressed, and I'm walking out of this hospital. <laughs> this woman, she's sitting there looking at the machines, right? I was in intensive care. Anyways, I'm walking out. She says, what are you doing? Aren't you dead? I said, no, I'm going home now. I'm okay. Anyways, my sister gave me, like, uh, after all that stuff, and, you know, like, everybody being shocked and... I ended up going to a detox, you know, and I'm sitting there, and of course she's giving me this, you know, stuff that I would have, you know, like hockey magazine and, and uh, you know, crib board, blah, blah, blah. Then she gave me a watercolor set, and I looked at her, I said, what's this? And she goes, well, can you paint me a flower? And I said, flower? I don't paint. She says, just paint me a flower. So I... I painted her a flower, it looked like a tomato on a stick, <laughs> it looks pretty funny. Then I painted her a patchwork, which is a cute painting. Anyways, it was that's where it launched. And I, from that day on, I loved it. You know, like I just thought, this is cool. If you are interested in seeing more artwork by Maurice Paradise, you can go online to artbyparadise.com or you can swing on by Celestial Awakenings in Trail, BC. There will be an opening reception February 22nd and the show will run right into March. For Shaw TV, I'm Carla Pierce.